Hey everybody, welcome to Mind Blown. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 signs of ISFJ you need to know. Make sure to watch until the end, and we will give you some tips on how to take care of your well-being. The ISFJ Personality Type ISFJs are industrious caretakers, loyal to traditions and organizations. They are practical, compassionate, and caring, and are motivated to provide for others and protect them from the perils of life. ISFJs are conventional and grounded, and enjoy contributing to established structures of society. They are steady and committed workers with a deep sense of responsibility to others. They focus on fulfilling their duties, particularly when they are taking care of other people's needs. They want others to know that they are reliable and can do what is expected of them. They are conscientious and methodical, and persist until the job is done. What do the four indicators of ISFJ mean? Each of the MBTI types has four indicators that represent unique elements of an individual's personality. Based on the indicators of the ISFJ type, as stated above, this personality type is sometimes referred to as the defender or the nurturer. And when we take a closer look at these four indicators, we get a better understanding of the character traits of the ISFJ personality. Introverted I Indicator Individuals who are introverted gain more energy from time alone than from time spent in a crowd. The more time these individuals spend socializing, the more time they will need to replenish their energy stores and recharge. Sensing S Indicator These individuals prefer data and concrete evidence. They like to be able to use their senses to see data and use these facts in their decisions and actions. Feeling F Indicator These individuals base decisions on empathy, weighing the costs of situations against the gain. Judging J Indicator This last portion of the ISFJ personality deals with how ISFJs view the world. ISFJ individuals interpret their surroundings more by empathy than by facts. Do you possess the ISFJ personality? If you relate to most of these signs, you might be one. 10 Signs You're an ISFJ The Most Common Personality Number 1. You're often mistaken for an extrovert. Because you have strong social skills, are articulate, and can make small talk when you have to, you're often confused for an extrovert. However, deep down, you're genuinely an introvert who needs plenty of time to relax. Without alone time, like an introvert, you feel frazzled, drained, and easily annoyed. If it weren't for the fact that people rely on you, you'd probably happily spend most of your time at home, watching your favorite shows, doing craft projects, or indulging in other solo hobbies. Number two, you're secretly emotional. Sentimental and sensitive, you're an emotional person. You may cry easily, whether out of anger, frustration, or tears of joy. However, being an introvert, you usually feel comfortable expressing your emotions in a loud or attention-grabbing way. Sometimes you repress them and hide them from even those closest to you. You may put on a brave face in public, then cry later in the privacy of your home. You internalize your feelings, romanticize a lot, but have trouble sharing your emotions. All you want to do is build strong friendships, support your family, and have a quiet, healthy relationship with someone who gets you. You are comfortable talking about emotions with your pals, but you are super shy when telling others about your deepest wishes. Although it's uncomfortable to put your feelings out there in a direct way, Remember that if you never ask for what you want, you won't get it. Number three, you're meticulous. Sometimes to the point of perfectionism, you're a perfectionist. Your attention to detail can make you invaluable on the job. You notice and remember things that others miss, and you have a solid need to follow through and make sure everything is in order. Sometimes you can be so meticulous that it borders on unhealthy perfectionism. In your most stressed out moments, you may find yourself obsessing over tiny details and experiencing a high level of anxiety about the things you can't control. It's not uncommon for ISFJ as introverts to be perfectionists. Introverts are prone to overthinking. Plus, you enjoy concentrating intensely, working alone, and getting things just right. If left unchecked, your perfectionism can poison your health, mood, and relationships. If you struggle with always having to do your best, one way to fight this is to set goals about what you want to achieve before beginning a project. Then. When you find yourself obsessing over one aspect of your project, pause and ask yourself if you've met your goals yet. If what you've produced is up to the standards you set initially, tell yourself to be done. If you haven't met your goals, try taking a short break. Taking a step back helps you evaluate your work more objectively. It can give you the breakthrough you need to move forward. Number four, telling people no is your greatest struggle. 
ISFJs are service-oriented personalities who enjoy pleasing others. Sometimes this means people take advantage of them, intentionally or unintentionally. People with the ISFJ personality can grow by saying no when they already have a lot on their plate. Here's how you can effectively say no. Say it. Provide a brief explanation if you feel you need to. However, don't feel compelled. The less said, the better. Be assertive and courteous. Example, I'm sorry I can't right now, but we'll let you know when and if I can. This approach is polite and puts you in a position of power by changing the dynamic. Set boundaries. When you truly understand the dynamic and your role, you won't feel as worried about the consequences of saying no. Be firm. If someone can't accept your no, you know the person is probably not a true friend or doesn't respect you. Stand firm and don't feel compelled to give in just because that person is uncomfortable. Number five, you don't leave things unfinished. The ISFJ personality is a judging personality, which means you crave closure. You're rarely one to begin a task without finishing it. You probably won't even start something if you think it's impractical to get it done. You don't understand how some people can leave dozens of household projects unfinished or start down a path only to bail on it halfway through. If you have things left unfinished, you often feel like they are failing in many ways. You believe in working hard to get things done and pushing yourself to accomplish your goals and projects as quickly as possible. At the same time, you want to be sure you finish each task with a sense of efficiency and near perfection. So this can be challenging. ISFJs often put a lot of pressure on themselves since they hold a lot of responsibility in their hands. Number six, criticism is your poison. You take things personally, but how can you not? Doesn't everything boil down to an interaction between two people? Criticism, especially from those close to you, is like a spear to your heart and it may leave you brooding for a long time. If you know a critical person of everything, you try not to take their comments too seriously as this is just part of their character trait. If you handle negative comments to heart, it can create resentment and anger towards the other person, damaging the relationship. Taking the positives out of criticism. We all make mistakes all the time. Even how perfectionist you become, it is human nature. As we go through life, we have plenty of opportunities to learn and improve ourselves. Therefore, no matter what kind of criticism is aimed at you, analyze it to find something you can learn from it. Number seven. Change is hard. You're not someone who gets bored quickly and decides to make sudden changes in your life just to liven things up. You take comfort in knowing what to expect. To shift you to change may stress you out. At times, you can be downright resistant to it. Sample situation, an unhealthy romantic relationship, a toxic workplace. Unfortunately, when we don't change our situation, our situation changes us. This is true for anyone and ISFJs are no exception. If the toxic situation continues, we might bottle up our feelings until the stress overwhelms our lives. Unwillingly, we might close up even more, shrinking our world and our opportunities. Here are three ways ISFJs can handle change without getting overwhelmed. Give yourself time to process it. Think about all the things that made the change necessary. Allow yourself to be angry. Indifference will stop you from considering giving another chance to your manipulating partner or employer. Above all, be extra kind to yourself during this period of transition. Carve out extra time for restorative solitude and self-care. Talk to your best friend. Sharing your concerns and negative emotions makes them seem more minor. When they are no longer just within you, then it will start to disperse. When your anger wears off, focus on the positive impacts that change will bring. Take action. We're at our best when we take control of the situation. Polish up your resume and start looking for another job. Put up an online dating profile and say yes to a few dates. Taking concrete steps will give you something to focus on. It will provide you with a sense of control during a chaotic time. Most importantly, it will force your mind to start moving forward. Number eight, you have a hidden side and you keep it hidden for a reason. Polite and kind, you strive for harmonious relationships. Others don't realize that you've got strong opinions about other people's lives and decisions that you mostly keep to yourself. With a close friend, however, you may find yourself letting out everything you bottled up, which can include a very snarky sense of humor. One way for ISFJs to grow is to practice not rushing to judgment. They may tend to give up on things they should persist on and persist in stuff they should give up on. They are more open-minded than they seem. While they are extremely cautious with strangers, they are usually willing to learn to understand others, 
as they get to know them, regardless of their differences. Number nine, not to brag, but, but you're the ultimate gift giver. Many ISFJs enjoy giving gifts because they draw on their greatest strengths, incredible attention to detail, and desire to bring others joy. On birthdays and holidays where gifts are exchanged, the ISFJ is likely to have a present for everyone in attendance, often in the right size and color, and always with a practical purpose in mind. They frequently surprise their loved ones by remembering something they casually mentioned months earlier. I love lavender essential oil and gifting it to them. Number 10. No one has a better memory for the details of people's lives. ISFJs are usually very detail-oriented. You tend to notice the little things rather than the big picture. You are likely to care more about specific evidence than you do about broad ideas. You're the type most likely to remember someone's name upon first meeting. Your coworker's birthday, your sister's favorite restaurant, and your nephew's shoe size. Engaging in tasks you're strong at will help you feel happier and work more productively. You'll have the opportunity to engage with your work activities and use your strengths to your benefit, which may help you stick with a position long term. Are you an ISFJ? Do you relate to any of the signs above? Do you have any more alerts that you share with an ISFJ? Let us know in the comment section below. Some of these signs are things many people will identify with, and every ISFJ will be a little different. However, if you can relate to most of them, the chances are good that you're an ISFJ personality. Want to be 100% sure? There's an easy way to find out. Take this free personality assessment. The link is in the description box and see your personality type in minutes. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with someone who needs to hear this. Share and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever Mind Blown posts a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.